It's hard to know that you can do something without seeing somebody do it first. Being a female skier, you're automatically put into a certain box of how you should represent yourself. The box isn't helping the next generation see us the way we want to be seen. She's been told a lot that things weren't possible. She did exactly what she wanted to do. There's so many women from so many different walks of life that are pursuing skiing in such different ways. And you just need to show up as yourself and you'll eventually find a place that fits. Oh. <laughs> she got a little pissed off. <laughs> a little bit. A pivotal comment that was once made to me was by a guest who said, you just don't look like a guy. But truly, over time, I've just like owned it more and more and more. This is who I am. This is how I can show up for you. And that's just made my life so much better. I know I have so many layers that I bring to the table, and I know that I'm like worth so much more than just my racial identity. But at the end of the day, it's like, am I only getting this because brands need to be more inclusive? A lot of people approach differences with fear instead of curiosity. The way that I deal with that is by having the courage to be who I am, even though people might try to put me in a box. Skiing is something that puts me into my body in a really positive way, unlike anything else. In fact, before transitioning, like really the only time I was ever comfortable with my body was when I was skiing. I feel like the industry thinks that like women only make up a small percentage of the sport. We have so much power in our stories and our connection as women. There's no better friendship or relationship than female friendships. Perfect pitch and it's super soft. I want women and girls to know their worth. I want them to know that there's space for them, that they're valuable, that they can do it. Exactly. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs>